We're here in Annapolis as the first stage in our uh, journey to New Zealand. We'll be going to be working with students uh, from Martinsburg and interacting with them during the trip to New Zealand. And part of this mentoring experience involves uh, coming to Annapolis, meeting those students, and working with these sea perches or remote operated vehicles that we'll be taking along with us on the trip. And today's uh, exercise was really the culmination of uh, what we call our mentoring exercise, where we brought college students together with uh, third graders and seventh graders uh, to understand uh, the dynamics of actually building uh, an underwater ROV. Uh, it's kind of a robot that moves under the water. Um, together with the third graders, and, and while building it, we also talked about a lot of different uh, what are called STEM ideas, science, uh, technology, math, and engineering ideas as we, we built it. And it's kind of get, to get the, the kids excited, but it's also to give our, our kids an opportunity to interact with the younger kids and actually uh, help, help in their education as well as in our, our students' uh, education too. We learned how airplanes work and how why bridges fall down. And you can t somebody can tell a student that, but for them to actually see it, for them to take the rubber band and blow it and see that it vibrates instead of just kind of watching a video, I think that's um, way more useful for learning than just simply being told or sitting in a chair at your desk and just kind of absorbing information. But once they see it, once they like put their hands on it and they actually believe it, and it, it gets pretty cool. So I think they had a good time. And it was also nice because so much of this course has been about education and about teaching kids. And we've gotten like lessons on it, but it's nice to actually, you know, put what we learned to use a little bit and, um, you know, see it actually pay off with like real live kids. So, so it's a good day. And so um, I guess we'll see how, how that experience extends into our, our New Zealand uh, abroad, study abroad experience when we talk back and forth with our third grade and seventh grade partners.